I'm Lisa Grant and I'm taking part in Thriller in the Villa 2016. There's two reasons why I'm doing Thriller in the Villa. The first one started in December 2014 when I saw some pictures of myself at a work Christmas party. I was really unhappy with the way I looked and how I felt about myself. I was just sad, basically really sad. So in January 2015 I signed up for the gym. And I'd done that quite a lot before, like we all of us have. So this time, rather than focusing on losing weight, I set myself little challenges throughout the year. So I started off doing 100 days of fitness. Then I did Tough Man. And I signed up to do a half marathon because I found that I liked running too. And then it came to around about Christmas time and Thriller in the Villa popped up. And I thought, now that is a challenge. I am not a boxer. I have never boxed. I can't even watch boxing. I'm like, oh no, don't hurt him. And things like that. So I thought, if I can train myself to do boxing, get in that ring in front of all those people, then that will just be a huge achievement for me. And then I also saw that they supported the hospice and Rebecca House. And that's my second reason. Because nine years ago, my dad died of cancer and I miss him every day. And I guess in a way, this is me trying to make him proud of me and a way of supporting all those people that are going through the, the evilness of cancer. The first time that I walked into Vikings Boxing Gym was an experience. I was surprised how much people will help you, how friendly they are, how the trainers know so much and they take their time out to teach me how to be the best person I can be in that boxing ring in September. The training is hard, like I do a lot of different things, but boxing is hard. It's maybe an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes non-stop cardio. It's tough, but it's good. And you sweat and you. I probably smell as bad as those boys that I smell, but it's good, it's amazing. And the sense of uh, the feeling you get when you walk out and you're just exhausted is great. The first time I got in the ring, I felt excited and I've done it a couple of times, a little bit nervous, but I think that that drives you on a bit as well, that little, that, the butterflies in your stomach, the adrenaline that get, gets you going. And I remember the first time I was, I was sparring and one of the girls said to me, oh, you're bleeding a bit. And I was like, I went out to the coach, am I bleeding? And he said, yes. And I went, yes, I'm bleeding. <laughs> and I didn't even know where that came from. It was like, oh my God, that is just not me. But it's just the adrenaline, it's great, it's really great. The time, the first time I got punched in the ring, well that was interesting. I cried, not in the ring, when I got outside and I cried and it was so emotional because it just made me think of my dad and why I was doing this. And although it hurts and although it's hard for me getting in the ring every day, what other people are going through it just doesn't even match. You have to raise minimum of £500, but that wasn't good enough for me. So I set myself a target of 2000 So I've done some cake bake sales at work. I've, post, I've set up a Just Giving page, which I post quite a lot on Facebook. I've um, set myself little challenges and get people to donate that way. I've also got a few events coming up between now and September. I've got a clothes swap. I've also got an 80s fancy dress disco night, which is going to be fun. And we've got James Kane DJing. So... I think that'll create quite a lot of interest too. A boot camp and yoga session, quiz night, a pamper session. So I'm hoping to get my 2000 target, maybe beat it, we'll see. Not only achieving things for myself, but one thing I've noticed throughout this journey is how much I'm inspiring other people. They've, you know, I post a lot on social media and Facebook and I post pictures of myself, comparison pictures, I'm always posting about what I'm achieving and the amount of people that have said to me, I've seen you out running in your pink kit and now I've started running and I've started going to the gym and that's really amazing for me is that people see me doing things and they are changing their lives from that possibly that sad, miserable, unhappy person that they are maybe to be somewhere near where I am now and that feels really good. I'm feeling so much more confident. I've lost about four stone, about 45 inches. I can lift heavy stuff. My last, I've done two half marathons now. And the last time I beat my time by 21 minutes. So I think it's pretty good. It's really improved my life a lot. And as you can see, I'm not sad anymore. I'm quite a happy person now. And I think that's just made a huge difference to my life, signing up for this and knowing 
that in, on the 23rd of September, after getting that ring in front of all those people, boxing fans too, I can't just wing it. I've got to know what I'm doing and I'd pro quite like to win as well. So I've thrown myself into it 100% and I'm working out now about 10 to 14 hours a week, doing lots of cardio, weight, boxing, training as much as I can to give the people on that night the best show that I can and again to win. <laughs> so on September 23rd you will see Lightning Lisa G knock that other girl out 